Speaker, the whole country will be concerned about the price being paid by those in communities affected by the floods and storms. I pay tribute to the work of the emergency services. Can the Prime Minister update the House on the number of people affected and what action is being taken now to ensure areas that could be affected by further flooding have all the necessary support? Well, first of all, can I thank the Leader of the Opposition for his very moving words about Paul Goggins and for what he said. In terms of flooding, it is an extremely difficult situation for those affected. We should remember that seven people have lost their lives since this began. Uh, I think he's right to pay tribute to the emergency services, to the uh, environment agency workers, to the flood wardens, and to the many neighbours and individuals who have shown great bravery and courage and spirit over the Christmas period at helping neighbours and, and friends. As it's an uh, ongoing situation, let me bring the House up to date with the latest detail. There are currently 104 flood warnings in place across the whole of England and Wales. That actually means that more flooding is sadly expected and immediate action is required. There are also 186 flood alerts, meaning, meaning that even further flooding is uh, possible beyond what we're expecting uh, more rapidly. Although the weather has improved, the river, level, river levels and groundwater levels remain so high that this further flooding could come at relatively short notice. There are a number of particular concerns, including Dorset, Wiltshire, Hampshire, Somerset and Oxfordshire. Given these ongoing threats, which could last for several days to come, I would urge members of the public to keep following the advice of the emergency services and the Environment Agency in those areas at risk. At a national level, we've been coordinating this response via COBRA, and COBRA will continue to meet under the chairmanship of my right hon. Friend, the Secretary of State, until the threat has passed. Mr Ed Miliband. Mr Speaker, I thank the Prime Minister <laughs> for that answer. I know he and the Environment Secretary will keep the House updated. He will recognise that some people felt the response at times was too slow. In particular, can you tell the House whether it's become clear why it took so long for some of the energy distribution companies to restore power to homes over the Christmas period, and what steps does he believe can be taken to ensure that that kind of thing doesn't happen again? Well, I think he's absolutely right. In all these circumstances, no matter how good the preparation, there are always lessons to learn. And I think there are lessons to learn on this occasion. On the positive side, the Environment Agency Warning Service worked better than it has in the past. The flood defences did protect up to a million homes over the December and Christmas period. But there are some negatives there, and we need to learn lessons. I think particularly some of the energy companies didn't have enough people over the holiday period for emergency uh, response, and I saw that for myself in, in Kent. Uh, so we need to learn these lessons. My right hon. Friend, the Minister for Government Policy, will be leading this exercise. The Energy Secretary is already looking at the levels of compensation and the preparedness and the speed of response from energy companies. But I would welcome from all members of all constituencies affected by flooding what they see on the ground about lessons that can be learned so that we can make sure preparedness is even better in a future occasion. Ed Miliband. Mr Speaker, given the scale of risk exposed by these floods and the expected impact of climate change, can the Prime Minister also commit to DEFRA providing a report to this House by the end of this month, giving a full assessment of the future capability of our flood defences and flood response agencies, and whether the investment plans that are in place are equal to the need for events of this kind? I'm very happy to make that commitment. Uh, as he knows, in this current four-year period, we're spending £2.3 billion compared with £2.1 billion in the previous period. The money is going into flood defences. And we saw, as I said, uh, with the early December um, flooding action, about 800,000 homes protected by previous flood defence work. And over the Christmas period, a further 200,000 houses affected. But whenever there is flooding, it then makes sense to look again at the proposals that are in the programme for flood defence work and to see what more can, can be done. As well as the government money, we're keen to lever in more private sector and local authority money, which is now possible under the arrangements, but I'm happy to commit, as he says, for the Environment Secretary to come back and report to the House uh, about the level of expenditure in the years going ahead.